We pitched four other decades, and they said, we pitched the 30s, the 40s, the 20s, and they said, how about, how about you guys do the 2000s? And we said, okay. We immediately thought of Y2K. December 31st, 1999, that was going to be the end at midnight. We were led to believe that computers were going to crash, that no signals would work anywhere, that the world was going to fall apart. And it didn't that second. But what was interesting is, over the next 10 years, the world did fall apart. It did kind of. So there was some prophecy there. And so we decided for the film, we would sort of create a fever dream. And the kids did not know who these people were. One of the kids didn't know how to pronounce Saddam Hussein's name. Why? Because he's never heard it, he's never said it, he's never thought about him. They barely and know Osama bin Laden. He kept saying, September the what? Do I have to September the 11th? Oh, you mean 9-11. The 2000s were so crazy pretty and bad. dangerous and pretty bad. So now, upon revisiting the decade, it kind of would have been better if the decade had not we could, happened. We could have <laughs> just skipped. We should have skipped. We should have right skipped to, it anyway. To, you know, 2011. And Y2K feels so quaint in hindsight, so funny, so cute, so quaint, compared to what came a year later.